All right, so I just picked up the solar panels. I got four of them, 250 watt each, so 1,000 watts of power. Here's uh, where I got the panels, Santan Solar. I'm in their backyard. I'll flip the camera around so it'll zoom and stuff. Santan Solar, these guys are awesome. They have all kinds of panels, new, used. They offer a one year uh, warranty, even on the used ones, which I thought was fantastic. Let's go hook them up, see how they work. Okay, just got home from Santan Solar. They uh, package these panels up. These ones are used, 250 watt. Uh, just basic panels, I guess. I've never done anything with solar. So let's see how they go together. I'll uh, unpackage them. All right, so I went to Home Depot. I got a bunch of U-bolts and some uh, nylon lock nuts that I'm gonna replace these nuts with. Um, I'll go outside and show you what I'm doing with these to make it all come together. So I had to take the uh, awning off in order to get the access to the roof rack that I need. It works out pretty easy to take on and off. It's just two uh, screws that hold it in place. Four solar panels up here. There's my sweet pickup, I love that little deal. Uh, in order to get these to mount, I have to cut the holes in the panels to get the U-bolts uh, down here. And I think I'm gonna get some kind of, uh, you know, like eighth inch foam or something, just to prevent any squeak where the uh, panel connects with the roof rack and where the bottom of the U-bolt connects with the roof rack, maybe on the sides as well, just in case it wants to squeak. Getting telephone messages over there, that's exciting news. Um, so I'm measuring and cutting to get the uh, solar panels equidistant along the roof rack to make it look symmetric and all that. This is the Fiamma roof rack. It's Italian. I love it. It's made for the van, the Fiat van, Promaster, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, back to work. I got this sock to hold my fancy phone so I don't scratch it because I don't have a phone thing for it yet. I'm weird. Three inches from the edge of the panel to the first hole and then I just match up the second. I'll have uh, oh, about a two and a half inch overhang from the roof rack, which is only here. And then uh, on the passenger side here, I'm gonna have that awning. So it won't really be noticeable on the passenger side. Driver's side, it'll hang over a little bit, but still well inside the, uh, the actual sidewall of the van. Should be awesome. 1,000 watts, 600 amp hours. We're in business. They, use, they have an extra hole from where they used to have a mount set up on opposing corners. And it just works out that that's straddling the holes I need. Totally fine. The U-bolts will work out perfect. I'm gonna drill them all. I've gotta flip the panel over and then I'm gonna attach this side lift this side, run the wiring down the driver's side, down the rear column, and into my power area inside the van under the bed. And then I'm gonna uh, bolt down this side. Then I'll be done. Hopefully it all works. Let's see. Modify it, because it's gonna overhang uh, the back end of the van. What I've got here is some C-channel. Uh, the C-channel is now gonna be a support. The back of the roof rack of the van will be about here. And then this will cantilever hang over the back of the van. It's the only way I could get a thousand watts. I don't even know if I really need a thousand watts, but I bought the panels. It'll kind of fit. Let's see how it goes. I'll get them up, hook it all up, and we'll give it a shot. I, wa I just watched what I, filmed there and it didn't make a lot of sense. So the back side of the solar panel is about an inch and a half deep. 
I've got this C channel because C channel is super rigid and I use these uh, metal screws, self-tapping. They screwed there. I'm gonna have the U-bolt come through here and that'll be mounted to the roof rack. The roof rack comes to about here, middle of the panel or so, and then this will cantilever out. And by having this C channel, I don't know if that's a good view or not. The C channel is secured to the frame and that gives you the four uh, more rigid supports for the panel to cantilever. Um, kind of a crazy idea, but it should work out pretty well. I'm gonna be able to secure those four points on the back of the uh, roof rack, and it should be very stable. I don't think we'll have issues with vibration or whatever. We'll find out though. Um, I don't know what angle will be the best. The sun's awfully bright. You can see how I've got uh, about 17 inches there for the uh, last solar panel to hang on. I've got to slide this one over yet to close that gap. And then run the wires all down the driver's side here, down this rear, well, it's gonna come in the reverse camera mount there and then drop down the rear pillar into where I've got my charge controller, inverter, and batteries. I will continue the fun at all. Hanging out over the back end of the van a little too far. Measurements, it didn't, I didn't think it'd be too bad, but uh, definitely not happy with that. So I was gonna do two in series and then parallel them together. Now I'm gonna take the fourth panel off and the midnight classic folks I just spoke with I'm not going to be able to uh, wire these the way I wanted so with three panels 250 watts each I'm just going to have to parallel all three so I'm going to lose a bit of power which is really a bummer but it'll keep the solar charge controller from having fits and it won't look like that so that's a good thing. Plus now I have an extra panel should one of them go south on me or have something fall on it and crack it or break it. So I'm gonna pull the fourth panel off, move the three panels back a little bit. I did have a spacing issue right here. That's the mount for the awning. So I had to stretch it out that way. Now I can move everything a little bit to the left here and not have to have it be all crazy. So I'll clean that all up and really finish putting it together. And I got dad drilling holes in the van. It's awesome. making the solar pigtails. We're gonna take this uh, clip, crimp it onto the wire there, and then it slides into this with the waterproof jacket. And that way we can connect each solar panel together. I'm gonna make a red version, a black version, times two, and then be able to connect it all together. I might show a little bit more. I might just show it when it's all done, we'll see. sure there's easier ways to do this but this is how I do it you put 
put the cap through. This is uh, what seals the wire so it stays waterproof up on the roof. And then you take your crimpers. This is the fun part. I know they have solar crimpers, but I don't. I have automotive crimpers. And I just pinch that down, pinch that down, fold them. And then I take the entire crimper. Let's see if that's gonna get a decent video picture of that right there. Pinch it tight, and that's crimped. Now, take uh, this deal, you push it in until it clicks, you seal that with that little rubber grommet, fits in there nice, then you tighten this on. Sorry, it keeps going out of focus. I didn't lock the focus. I should probably do that. I just learned how to last week. I thought that was kind of cool. Let me do that, actually. So, oh, I guess I gotta do it before I record. All right, so now the focus is locked and this part of the video is done. So now, I've got a male and female end of the uh, solar wires. That's gonna go up on the roof. Here's the positive version. Let's go up on the roof and uh, install these and we'll make the next ones. Okay, I think it's recording normal video now. Before I had it set up to where it's recording high speed time lapse stuff, it's quite frustrating. So it's cloudy now, but we've got 46.91 volts. We were getting 48.8 earlier when it wasn't cloudy. And then uh, amps, we were getting uh, 14 amps. And then when we did another recording we were getting uh, uh what was it i want to say it was 11 amps so let's see what the amps are now again it is cloudy outside so getting two and a quarter amps can't really complain i'll uh i mean it's way different but let me show you the cloud coverage pretty crazy so, when we look outside, we got all kinds of clouds. It's incredible, actually, that we're getting the power out of it that we're getting, I think. We've got a mostly cloudy sky all around. Just a few patches of blue, and that's, that's it. That is incredible, I think for uh, for what we've got on the uh, sky thing, clouds, whatever. Uh, let's see, all the other video that didn't turn out because I had the setting wrong is doing all our connections. Uh, let's see if I can get this gimbal to work with me. Here's the connection, super simple. It's basically like plug and play kind of awesome over here oh dear the gimbal's getting pissed at me so I've zip tied everything in got a zip tied to the back let me show you where we brought it into the van I think this seems to be kind of a common way of doing it brought it into the van through the uh, reverse camera mount and then I've got it coming down in through the pillar here. Got to put those covers back on. 
And then right now I just have it sitting out here wild, which is not the smartest thing to do. I wouldn't recommend that. But we're gonna hook it into that breaker box, then connect it to the classic. Now earlier you saw dad drilling in the side van. Here's what he was drilling. We've got our uh, shore power. So you just plug in your shore power when you're at a park or house, whatever. And that power comes in through this cable that I'm gonna run to the back and plug into the back of the inverter. And uh, that is how we'll charge the batteries from the shore power. Pretty awesome.